hey loves welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Zanele Kri, so i'm a registered south african nurse and i'm here to document my life as a nurse in south africa if that is the type of content you would like to enjoy please do hit the subscribe button and join this is nurse z so on today's video it's really not going to be anything long it's going to be very quick and short i just want to share with you guys my workstation here at home i decided to create this workstation slash work office because of the type of job that i started doing this year if you are new here um i recently started a new job by recently i mean i'm four months in right now and my job does not only require me to be a clinician but it also re it requires me to be a manager meaning i have a bit of admin work to do every now and then and sometimes I would not finish doing whatever admin work that I'd be doing at work and I would want to bring it home. So I needed a space that I was going to be productive and be able to do some of the work that I would not be able to finish off in my office. And the second reason that I created a workstation, it was because of my studies. Um, so there are courses that I'm doing like um, long distance learning and so forth that requires you to study and to learn on your own. and my bed was completely not doing it for me i was not being productive on my bed i would just be cozy and end up sleeping without studying so i needed a space that would allow me to focus and be able to produce good results on my studies the last reason it was obviously for youtube to be able to work and plan whatever content I want to create and be able to edit and put out. So whenever I'm seated in this chair, which is exactly where I work, um, I become productive, I become focused, and I know why I'm sitting here. I don't become easily distracted. My space is really minimal, especially my table. Um, I made sure that I don't have a lot going on so that I don't become distractive. I am not yet completely done with the whole space, um, but I thought I should share what I currently have with you guys. And if you like the video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think I should add and just whatever advice that you would like to leave for me based on my workstation. I hope you guys will enjoy the video. I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys. Right, we're gonna start on this corner this frame i got from my sister and that is a picture of me when i was doing grade 12 i was at metric dance i look so cute and petite on this side i want to have my daughter's pictures and up there i want to have a picture of me and my daughter i love that picture frame here are candles that i got from this plastic shop at waterfall mall i don't know what they call it and this piece i got from my sister as well I hate how these candles burn and I even stopped burning them. I just kept there for decor. I hate them. Hope you guys can see it too on your side. This is my work laptop. Um, I don't have a personal laptop and I don't think I need one for now at least. So I use my work laptop and underneath my work laptop is a desk calendar that i got from my sister she got it for me at korea guy because she's a frequent customer there and these notepads are not new here so if you're not new here you definitely know these notepads these are pads that i reach out for every time i want to document something and this particular one i did speak about it on my previous vlogs that i got it when i was pregnant and i thought i was gonna document my time during then it was back in 2019 so you can tell how dirty it is i just love the message on the outside fearfully and wonderfully made moving right along um yeah on this corner basically the yellow thing that you see it was actually a candle and then i reused it um this particular candle i got from a colleague of mine in the yellow bucket i have I have like sticker notes, pens, and just a couple of things that I tend to reach out for. As well as my epaulets, they stay in there. Also have a staple over there. And I've got this cushion that I got from Nima Home Decor together with this beautiful chair that I got from Take A Lot. This, no, not Take A Lot. Um, what is it called? Uh, 
decofen yeah the table is also from decofen and the floor rug that you guys see it is very huge it is from nima home decor i'm gonna um, leave the uh, instagram link on the description box together with the pillow they come from nima home decor and on your right um it is my bookshelf on top of my bookshelf it is this beautiful painting of me and my daughter i got it from my friend sharon um she made it in cuba you guys and she came with it when she was coming to sa and i've got a bunch of nursing school textbooks and on the other side it is boxes of the lenses and the adapters that i got from canon as well as few items from my skincare i put those skincare items there because they are just easy to reach and i use them on daily on the other um, corner it is also my nursing school books i try to color coordinate i don't know if you guys can see that and i also have my lens there so the color coordination is actually browns purples reddish and whitish and up there we've got your greens and your blues so i really try to color coordinate my textbooks and on the other side i've got like these three candles that i bought from take a lot they are finished um but i just put the the containers there for deco purposes and i've got my handbags laid out um i really really love these handbags and i've got sunglasses over there and on the other side i've got a home diffuser and on this particular basket i literally throw everything that i tend to need haphazardly things that i don't know where to put and as well as on the box that you see the brown box on the left hand side that home diffuser i got it from take a lot down here clustered books that i often reach out for especially for information and my camera bag is also down there that would be an overview of what my work station slash where homework space looks like i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one bye guys